You see her squirrel as a police escort, yep. Thirteen thousand. It does look very high. Thirteen thousand feet. I was trying to think what this cloud base would be. I reckon that cloud base is about six or seven. But yeah. There must be like a peak that goes right up there. Wow, it actually, if you look at it on the map. So we're here. And if you look at it, it's one of those that's filled. It's a lake. That's super cool. Imagine going up there and landing in an Icon A5. <laughs> that would be amazing. Just fly up there and land in an A5. That is Mordor. I reckon Mordor was 13,000 feet as well. should have named the Japan update the dry lightning update well I think you got the dry lightning whether you install Japan or not getting back out will be a challenge Taipan yep 13,000 feet you'd have to lean the mixture I hope they work on the water at some point. It's far too calm. <laughs> oh, I love it when Nut Slammer does that. It's much better than trains in water. Well, yeah. Why have you got two FPS? I don't know. You raise the wind, the water becomes more choppy. Well, that's fair enough. It always looks way too calm, though. There's no, like, big waves going through it all the time. a slight course correction. The plane just fell out of the sky and the trim was fine, had fuel speed. Weird. ED? Do you, do you, uh, did you cut off the fuel accidentally on the overhead maybe? You just got a yoke yesterday, nice. direction uh, the modern desire thank you for half a year enjoy the new acorn you have to do 120 knots over the mountain so you're falling behind what you went over that mountain you madman <laughs> the sky looks incredible absolutely incredible
Uh, YTK Waka, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. Fully clear skies at flight level 230. <laughs> We're starting to get into, um, like, properly built up areas again now, look. It's like really weird clusters. Like pocket villages. Warning about all pressure flashing red. Have you got... Have you got uh, failures turned on, ED? I'm going to have to go for a bio break, so I'll do it now before we uh, get too close to the surf field. So I shall be right back. Don't crash the plane. Well, at least you didn't crash the plane. Whoa, some low-level cloud coming up. Uh, WADL. So we're going on runway 31 at WADL is the next stop. to start slowing it down
the actual airfield is that over here somewhere there probably is a WASD by now <laughs> not even joking Be here somewhere. Lombok International, what WASD? There is no WASD, really. That surprises me. I still have no visual on the airfield. Unless maybe that's it. I don't think there is a nut house pizza. <laughs> Type pen. Uh per good night, mate. Have a good one. I still can't see this thing. Oh there it is. Yeah, it was that. It was that. Well, to be fair, I could just follow all the lights in, couldn't I? Cook, see you next time. This is curious. It looks like the runway used to be a lot longer. Is that a VOR? That looks distinctly like a VOR below us.
We made it. Uh, you don't need to apologize for being late. You got here exactly when you intended to. Right, we'll pull up and have a look at the next leg. I think we're doing okay for time, actually. Now we've got two more legs, I think. We've got W-A-D-D -D and then W-A-D-Y. Okay, right. Barrow set. Let's have a look. Right, so next stop. Take off out of here. And we track westbound, pretty much. Maybe just go along the northern side of this coastline. Straight over past that island, just fly directly overhead on that island. Straight in on 2-7. Pretty easy leg, I'd say. Okay, let's do it. Brakes off, let's go. Look at that view over there with all the mist. That looks amazing. Right, flaps coming up. Big Z, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the net house. Let's see what altitude we can get away with. Hmm. They're not looking too clever. Uh, using four flight, Big Z. Think I'm gonna have to fly to the right side of that. So that's what we'll do. Punch over to the right a little bit. Yeah, so we'll we'll fly. Like I say, just on the north side of this bit here. We'll have a look at the northern coastline. Just get around that elevation there. You've cooked a pizza. Nice. I need to think about what food I want after the stream now. Haha. <laughs> Your sim crashed four times, dude. Oh boy. Ever since I had that weekend where it was just crashing constantly and I reinstalled my C++ runtime libraries and I validated the sim in the, in the app store and I turned off hardware acceleration in my browser and all of those things, I don't know which one fixed it, but all of those things combined, it's been pretty stable since.
also I close my browser now whenever I'm flying um, just to save memory more than anything you reinstall your C++ runtimes and had no crashes since interesting good northern Alex good evening or afternoon for you thank you for 65 months hope you're well sir can we, can we get a shout out for Alex please mods been playing a lot of farming recently Alex I've noticed you're getting right into your farming I'm surprised you've not you've not played Catlin Crops because that seems to have been released uh, version 1 I think recently I thought you'd have been into that for a bit Omisaki thank you for 4 months Northern Alex equals stood in the mud in trucking. <laughs> wow, 1500 and we're just about clearing this stuff. Have you been using Simlink? Uh, what, me? No. There you go, we can track along that coastal bit now. Yeah, I've seen that butler. Uh, 6,000 kilobits is what I go with. Six megabits to you and me. anyone else download stuck uh, most of those problems have been fixed or if you go on the Microsoft forums there is actually it tells you what to do if your install is stuck you just delete some files and then carry on uh, don't you feel your viewers on mobile devices struggle with the high bit rates I've I've streamed six megabits for I don't know at least two years not had a complaint yet You've got a multiple, you've got a, a variety of options for bitrate if you don't want to stream at 6 megabits. As in, they can choose different bitrates. It's getting darker and darker, which is weird. We set out at 5.20 a.m. And the sun was just coming up, you remember? And ever since then, it got light and then it just went darker. It's crazy. Only premium accounts can most viewers are not. No, if you're a Twitch partner, you can stream and the viewer can see multiple resolutions and bit rates. It, it's not dependence on the viewer, it's dependence on the streamer. If that's what you mean. What on earth is that livery? <laughs> I think affiliates, I can't remember what affiliates get. I know partners get all the options, but I don't know what affiliates get. I mean, if you're not an affiliate or a partner, you're kind of stuck with whatever whatever, whatever resolution and bitrate you stream at. That's a very strange little pocket of land right there. <laughs> very circular. Affiliates get... If it's available. What do you mean, Alex? If it's available. There's the island we're going to. 
you think you should build your own PC or buy a pre-built? It's entirely up to you. I think the amount of money that you can save yourself um, by building it yourself, you need to work out whether that's worth your time, and it depends on your experience as well. So if you don't really know what you're doing, you might want to do a pre-build. If you know exactly what you're doing, you can build it yourself. And have the pleasure of building. I mean, they're not hard. Like, if you've done a few PC builds, they're not hard. But if you've never done one, it's like anything. Of course it's hard. Just make sure that you, you're very careful about the components that you... The thing is about a pre-build is they will make sure that stuff works together. You know, you can buy a motherboard and a CPU and memory and stuff that's not compatible if you're not careful. The first PC had trouble boosting Windows and only half the RAM got, got recognised. See, that's the problem, is if you build your PC yourself, you turn it on and nothing happens. It's all down to you. <laughs> if you've got, if you know somebody that's built them before, that can help a lot. Right, so that is actually the island that we're going to fly over as we get in towards two sevens on the other side on the mainland, but this is an island. I don't know what elevation this thing is. I have no idea. You had to lose slow mode, you got lost. No problem. I don't know, my sim seems to be more stable now. Back in the day, 486, my first PC I built. Uh, it took a week to find a misplaced jumper. Wow. A misplaced jumper? Oh, boy. I bet you wish you'd hung your clothes up in your wardrobe like your mum asked you. I th I can't, I'm trying to think what the first PC I built was. The first PC I ever owned was a gateway. A gateway PC. And that was a 386. But the first one I ever built... That's a... I think it was a 486 I first built. What stage of flaps am I on? None. Shouldn't be on any flaps. Nope. None. Mr. Jaffa Cake has gifted eight subs. GG Jaffa Cake, thank you for that. If you were lucky enough to get one, please give him a massive thank you. A nice little sub bomb at the end. Weasel's, Weasel's still not got used to the new, new nut slammer yet, so he's still struggling. <laughs> thank you, Jaffa Cake. Plan on building your next PC yourself, you've never done it before, you have a rough idea as to what to do. The best thing to do, Matty, is watch some... There's, there's so many build videos out now. Just watch some of them. Get used to the idea of what you're doing and the pitfalls. Yeah, that's true, Caps Influence. If, he, if he's just going to put in a load of caps, it's going to get purged.
yeah, you should watch more, definitely. Hmm. Do we think 1,500 feet's going to get over this thing? I'm not convinced. Canistar, glad you enjoyed it. That is a little bit low. Love to see a Douglas DC 304 in the sim and try it on her. Good grief. That's at 1800. I should be okay at 2k then. It's good fun, Connor. You're just flying along, having fun. That's all it's about, really. Look at that little pocket of sunlight coming through. That's amazing. I love the way it models stuff like that. It is properly overcast. That's you, 200 foot, struggling to fly the plane. <laughs> you better go around the island then. Wow, well, imagine living on this island. Hmm, I'm not so keen on that elevation either. That's not 5,000 feet, no way. That's about two. You can't believe this is out of the box, I know. This amount of scenery getting for free is insane. I think that, right there, that's the, uh, the airfield. Five thousand feet IRL. Oh, you mean the MSA on the map, on the chart? First time joining the convoy, this is great. I'm glad you enjoyed it, uh, Tatterman. Just gonna deviate slightly. That is indeed the runway. Yeah, I think they've actually got wind turbines here, which sat on top of two and a half thousand foot of land, or two thousand foot of land. I would expect the MSA to be three and a half, four K, not five. But then we don't know what else is going on. Uh -oh. Where are we flying to today? We're currently heading to WADD, WAD, where you can get a lot of cash. It's some island south of Indonesia. Basically, Indonesia's in that direction, and Australia is in that direction. This is Indo. Is that what the island's called, Indo? That's where we are in the world. Australia. Vietnam. Philippines, Indonesia. Oh. A 
And then we're just south of an island called Bali, I think. It's a really impressive interstate just before the runway. Nice. Jacket sack, thank you for 22 months. That's pretty detailed. thing that thing is just looming right there you're from near here and it's 3 a.m never been to Bali though Well, we are 15 nautical away from that runway. This is the penultimate stop. After this one, we fly to Wadi. You just had burgers, now you're stuffed. Nice. Not Slam has bagged another one. Another scalp. Another shouting scalp. He's ruthless, Not Slammer. Ruthless. This looks like a very developed area to me. Just looking at the, uh, the amount of urban buildings. Uh, you've read that the updates brought graphic settings that made the game less beautiful. Is that true? Wait, what? Does this game look less beautiful? I've never heard that. Where have you heard that? I feel like some people just make stuff up on the internet, post it on Reddit, and, and then people just propagate nonsense that's what it feels like to me first time watching on twitch hk welcome sir All right, let's make a slight deviation here this is your last one for today thank you thanks to everyone Akavitali. wait what uh my sim froze my sim has crashed my sim is 100% crashed. It's not doing anything. Give it time. I'm not I'm not moving. I'm not touching a thing. It's back. It's back. Oh my god, that was like the longest pause ever. Holy smoke. That's an insane pause right there. <laughs> what was that about? Blimey. Yours did that earlier. Hmm. Yeah, it was almost like playing farm sim where a player joins the server. This looks like a cool approach. I reckon it was loading all that scenery, you know. Because it seems like there's an awful lot of it. That's the first time it's done that this evening, that kind of 
ridiculously long pause. Well, that's actually quite a nice approach. Look at that. I think I can see the massive highway running across in a bridge. This is quite cool. Volcano to the right. You can't ask for anything else, can you? You've got volcanoes to the right, the massive urban city, a runway with a threshold by the water with a massive highway in front of it. Mordor like weather. Beautiful. That is a crazy highway. What is that about? Final, final runway two seven. What an approach. You got one in the water, Connor. <laughs> Have a nice swim. Didn't even feel it. Was that a van in the water? I didn't notice. Butter was spread. <laughs> right, let's turn around. That was a cracking approach. Uh, yes, Lutherman. Thanks for joining. Enjoy. Anyone can join, it's Marky, but you'll have to be quick, mate. We're about to do the very last leg. line up and have a look at the next leg right so we are taking off have a 2-7 and what I propose we do is take off and then turn to the right and just track along this coastline here so effectively you know tracking along the coast 
because it's a good visual reference point. And then after we get to Nigara, which is here, kind of cut that corner off straight over and line up for 2-6. That's essentially what we're doing. Wow, that approach into Bali, though, was so good. Really enjoyed that. Right, everybody ready? Let's go. Get the flaps up. Get the airspeed up, and we'll make that right turn. I'm going to go for 1500 feet, I think. See how we get on. That's pretty cool. You've been to Bali a few a few months ago. Nice. Was it games like this that made you want to learn to fly? I don't know where that came from, to be honest. I think it was from playing flying games on the ZX Spectrum. I think I just enjoyed, like, when I played Elite Dangerous and then I played Star Glider and basic flying, you know, flight sims on the Spectrum and the Atari ST. I just wanted to fly. Uh, Drejon doing well, thank you. Ultra Zippy. What an interesting name that is. Sounds like an archiving tool. <laughs> Buy Ultra Zippy today for only five dollars. Includes the ability to unarchive as well. Ultra Unzippy. The north side of the barley is great for the icon. Well, we're just going to pop up the coastline here. I think he's flying a Kinga or something.
Okay, doing okay. <laughs> this has been quite a nice trip this evening. All along these little islands. Can't believe how different the weather's been, though, from the start to the finish. Why is a great thing? It's a shame that for 99% of people, it's a hellish experience of ours crammed into tiny tubes full of screaming babies. Yep. Well... Not only that, most people can't see out the window. <laughs> so they don't really see what's outside anyway. So it's just a thing where you sit down and then you get off. A storm ahead. Yeah, I've been thinking there might be. It's something coming in from the west, I think. Uh, you're welcome, Pearly G. I used to visit the island of Bali. It looks quite nice. I wonder if we can go to Bali and hire a plane and then fly around. That would be cool. I wonder if I, I take it my license would allow me to do that. Bring on the storm, we want to challenge. Lol. Normally, when we do these flights, the very last couple of legs just turns into, like, IFR conditions. Absolutely, gents. I hide a Beechcraft. Fair enough. Side's better to fly around. Well, it wasn't on the flight plan, unfortunately, but yeah. I'll do that another day, I guess. I just want to land at that airport in real life. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I think this cloud ceiling is definitely getting lower. Hello. Perfectly normal. Hope your seatbelt's on tight. Wouldn't you just love to put those people in an actual real plane and be like, right, off you go, let's see you do that. <laughs> That's not you, Connor. That left fuel tank just empty to think some... Yeah, it would do. You need to just make sure that both your fuel tanks are on. And some of the planes, you have to switch the tank as well. Like the SR-22, you have to hop between the fuel tanks. kind of need like where that hilly bit is we kind of need to cut through about barish i think 
I'll just course correct a little bit. Uh, where are we going? Yeah. Uh, w A D Y. Uh, first time flying with us, Jody, Jody Fire. Have you enjoyed it? Cool. That's all that matters. Just want to make sure we miss out this uh, elevation here. I think that's probably about right. Uh, zero eight or two six. I'm gonna go in on two six. I think. I'm gonna go over the water and land on two six. But you know, it's up to you. I don't know if we can get any weather down there. No, there's no weather data. It feels like the same weather that we had when we flew in Japan. It's just exactly the same cloud that comes over. That's definitely looking like we're about to smash right into IFR. This could get interesting. Uh, there is no collision voyager. If you if you fly into another plane, you get a Patrick Swayze effect. So there's no collision. Right, two nine is zero. You see? See what happens? Oh, yeah. If we had collisions turn on, everybody would be dead. <laughs> Absolutely. Because the first thing that would happen is everybody goes, There's Squirrel! Hey! Actually, it looks like Patchy kind of so we should, we should be okay, I think. What was the uh, 395? Oh, no, oh, wrong one. Durr. DF no data. It's not picking it up at the moment. Uh, you can't believe that each of your streams is basically at the same time as a trip across the big pond. Is it? Do you need help with Java? Nope, I coded in Java for many years. <laughs> Welcome to the Discord server, Luke's. How does a blue lever work? Uh, what the prop one? Basically, you know, the, you know, like the propeller blade. When you when you move the lever, effectively, what it's doing is twisting that blade. So it changes the angle of attack of the propeller as it spins through the air. We're 
about 17, 18 nautical away at the moment. What's the added value of change of an angle propeller? Um, it's called a variable, variable pitch propeller and it allows you to keep a constant engine speed. So, how can you put this? As the load as the as the load changes on the engine, um, because of like whether you're climbing or descending or whether you're going higher through thinner atmosphere, the actual air that's the actual air that propellers cutting through, the resistance has changed. So by varying the pitch, you can change the resistance on the engine, and therefore you can keep the engine RPM the same, but change the propeller instead. And it allows you to save a lot of fuel for one. <clears throat> oh my god, it has just suddenly become Mordor. Look at this. <laughs> Where the heck did this come from? Oh boy. I like it back there better. Okay, well, this could be interesting. Let's dive through that gap, though. It actually might stop as we cross the water. I'm thinking maybe this is just over the land, I don't know. Zeus and Thor are having an argument. going to go up to 2000 so I can see that runway better thoughts on Wales going into a two week lockdown I don't have any thoughts on it Stoney my area is in a tier 2 lockdown you know we had riots yesterday did you see that People rioting on the streets. They're getting fed up of it. ADF needles there. So we leave that on. Whoa! Well, yeah. I don't think these people are thinking sensibly anymore. A lot of them don't believe there is a virus, that's the problem. How close is the NDB to the actual runway, I wonder? So that needle should start to come over towards... Actually, it's on 2.6 we want. 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. It's almost on 2.6. We can turn in shortly. It's almost on 2.6. Let's see if we can get around the corner. Now we should be flying straight towards it. Uh, Mr. Bertarelli, thank you for three months with Prime. Need to sit slightly more up. 
And hey presto, there's a the runway. Nice. We should be okay. It looks like the cloud layer over there is very low now. Your sim just crashed. Oh no, Beefy, I hate that so much. I hate it when he does that. Alright, also Paul, I can come off. Can we go around again? Nah. I thought we had a crosswind. I was thinking to myself, I feel like we're getting blown to the right constantly. <laughs> A little bit of a left to right crosswind going on. It's in Indonesia. W-A-D-Y is the airport code. Nice. We made it. Well done, guys. Woohoo. <laughs> Look at the timing as well. Almost bang on 9 o'clock. <laughs> well, that was a fun little trip. Enjoyed that. Awesome source. Well, I, we, we, luckily enough, we didn't get completely clouded in this time. <laughs> there was some nasty cloud over on the, the Bali Island. But yeah, that was a... If you want to see the route that we just flew, exclamation mark route. But essentially, we just flew from east to west. Starting here in WATC, we flew along those islands. Uh, Bali was really nice, I like that. 
And we landed on the island of Jemba or something. I don't know what it's called. Pretty cool though. Pretty good fun. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining. If you took part in the flight today, hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for taking part. That's it, man. Gave a moment. <laughs> Mr. Soundbites, I'm sorry, Captain Flint. I'm I'm hopeful I can come up with a solution to the soundbite problem at some point, but it'll take a bit of time. I'll have to write some code. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, and can we get some love in the chat for all the mods for uh, modding splendidly at the weekend? Um, we all appreciate their support and um, yeah thank you for all your support watching the stream hanging out uh, a lot of gifted subs this weekend as well so thank you for that and if you did get a sub please remember to jump in the discord server uh, where you can sort of you know communicate with the nutters in the week um, what's my plan for this week I am hopeful to get my last hour of flying in this week. I need to go and do another hour of flying to get my SCP rating refreshed for two years, so I'm hopeful I can find a window in the weather, although the weather's not looking great this week. And then, yeah, some flying videos will be good, so I'll try and get those done. Look out for a video this week, um, an IRL flying video from me, where I fly from North Weald down to Lyd, and we go overhead south end. So that video will be up this week on my YouTube channel, so watch out for that. Uh, it's a nice little video, that one, particularly if you're not sure about how to talk to ATC in the UK. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for your support. I shall be back in a few days' time. So I hope you all have a cracking week, whatever you're doing. Stay safe with all this corona nonsense going on. And I shall see you all very, very soon. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.